Hey everyone! I'm traveling soon. Actually, by the time this video goes up, I might already be traveling. So, I need a good travel pillow. Really, I already have a travel pillow. But I saw one online that was so cute and I wanted to try making it. It was like a convertible um, travel pillow. It looks like a travel pillow, but there's a zipper on the bottom and you can unzip it and flip it inside out and then it's a little stuffed animal. And I think that's such a cute idea, so I wanted to try making one. So of course, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made it and how you can make one of your own. So, let's get started. In this tutorial, I'm going to be making a Totoro pillow, but you can alter the stuffed animal part to be whatever you want. For this one, you'll need a reversible zipper, stretchy gray and white fabric, white and black embroidery thread or felt, the pattern, I'll link to the pattern that I made down below. The ones here in this video are a little bit different than the ones I'll be providing because these were the first iteration of the pattern and I changed a few things while I made it so those changes are reflected in the pattern. So don't be alarmed that the pattern looks a little bit different. An old travel pillow? I just use one of my old ones to make a pattern so I'm not providing that unfortunately. But I'm sure you can probably find one online if you don't already have a travel pillow to work from. Taylor's chalk or sewing transfer paper, scissors, microbead filling. This stuff is what they use to fill super satisfyingly squishy pillows. I tried to find these in my local craft stores, but I couldn't find them there, so I ended up having to buy them online. And tissue paper. Transfer the pattern pieces onto the fabric and cut them out. Like I mentioned before, I used an old travel pillow that I already owned to make the pattern for that part. Mark about 5.5 inches across the top in the middle. This is where the zipper will go. Also mark out another few inches, about 4 or so, somewhere along the edge. This will be the hole where you fill it with stuffing. So now you should have two U-shaped pieces for that. One front piece for the Totoro. Two back pieces, mirrored. Four ear pieces. Four arm pieces two tail pieces, and one white round piece. When you're working with stretchy fabric like this, it's so much easier to deal with the fabric if you use pieces of tissue paper and lay it under the fabric like this as you sew. This helps keep it from stretching like crazy as you sew along. Connect the front piece together on the bottom with a tight zigzag stitch. You need to make sure the stitching is close together so it keeps the microbeads in when you go to fill it later. And then it needs to be zigzag so that it will still be stretchy. Then pin the white tummy piece into the hole of the front piece and sew together. Pin the back pieces together and sew, skipping over where the zipper will be. You can adjust the zipper hole to be however big you made it for the travel pillow piece. Pin the ears onto the front and back pieces with right sides touching like this and sew them on. Flip the ears up and then match the front and back pieces together, pinning as you go and then sew it up. Flip right side out, making sure to flip the ears out. And then flip it back inside out, but don't bother flipping the ears out again. Sew the arms and the tail piece, and then flip them right side out, and then set aside. If your zipper is too long, you need to cut it short to fit the zipper hole that you made. My zipper was also, unfortunately, metal. So I had to use pliers to remove the teeth of the zipper in some spots on the ends so that I could cut it short and then to make room for some stitching. Pin the zipper to the travel pillow. Then take the stuffed animal part and pin that to the other side of the zipper so that the zipper is sandwiched between the travel pillow and the stuffed animal, like this. Sew along each side of the zipper with a straight stitch.
Use the stuffing hole on the travel pillow to flip everything out, and then it should look like this. Sew a top stitch around the zipper. Sadly, I didn't make the zipper hole big enough so that it would fit into my sewing machine at this point, so I had to hand sew this part. When you do this, make sure you get each end sewed up really well. You need to make sure you seal up any points where the microbead stuffing can possibly come out. And now it's time for stuffing. Just be prepared, this stuff will get everywhere. Have your vacuum ready. The bag says just to snip off one end and start pouring from there, so that's what I did. As the beads poured in, I would try to move the pillow around to make sure they were being distributed nicely. And once your pillow is filled up, pin the hole and then hand sew this hole up. I went over this twice to make sure the stitching was tight enough to keep the beads in. So with my first attempt, I ended up not making the Totoro big enough and you could not stuff the travel pillow back into it. It was a huge fail and I had to go back and redo the pattern, making the Totoro quite a bit bigger. The pattern I'm providing should be big enough for any standard travel pillow. Anyway, now add all the detail pieces. Hand sew the arms and tail on, the face and tummy details, and then it's done. I freaking love how this turned out, and I'm so happy I was able to finish it up before I left for my trip. I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you to my patrons who helped me produce this video. If you want to become a patron or just learn about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine right here and you can go check it out. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, or Snapchat and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.